Big Brother Nigeria Season 5 finalist V says she refuses to be a cliche as she blows hot on Twitter. She said she will never be a brand ambassador to any skin bleaching products or slim tea brand. According to her, she has so many young girls following her on her social media pages and cannot afford to encourage the use of skin bleaching products. She's refusing to succumb to the idea of what, in her words, that's how things are done in this country, end of quotes. She added that she is not ready to compromise the standard of her brand, even if it means taking longer to get to the top. I appreciate people that actually understand what they want and their principles, their standards, their values, and they stick to it. So no amount of money can, um, well, sometimes they can't. <laughs> 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 don't let me, don't let me, never don't say never. Me, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, but uh, I just feel Did like... You sorry to digress. Did you see the video of the girl on Twitter who was shouting, I can't be bought, I can't be bought. She yeah. said somebody gave her 150000 just to come for lunch. And she refused it. Somebody sent her another 200,000 error. And she said, oh, I can't be bought. It's like, what's that? I can't be bought. Well, I admire <laughs> who sent me 100 K for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be bought. <laughs> well, like I was saying, I, I like when you have your standard, especially during your come up. That's what defines you at the end mm -hmm. of the day, because that is what is going to... Um, Make, make you stand out yeah stand out and know that okay this guy is a no-nonsense person this is what we have to offer him and if they want to make you digress mm. from your principle they know that they are doubling the money or tripling the money mm. so you know so or they're you paying know, for your soul just put, a, expensive. just put a price on it you can <laughs> bank on it <laughs> you know? lots of respect for v because yeah. clearly she knows what she wants she knows mm. the brand that she represents mm. and it seems like because she knows what's raining now you know skin bleaching waist training and just giving these young Sleeping girls tea. very exactly very unrealistic views of themselves and she doesn't want to do that so and besides, i she's have a chocolate respect sisters, for her which is and beautiful melanin is popping you know mm. especially in a country like this nigeria where we have so many young black girls like she's doing something very respectable yeah respectable. definitely I, I love what she how she put it and what she has said i think there was someone in the last big brother ninja as well who came out with the same stance like mm. i don't know if it's diane now or yeah, i think it was diane um, or, uh, i can't remember one of them one though of them. and did she stick yeah. to it i think yeah she did mm. I'm, i've not seen her being an ambassador for any, Which is anything because it's not easy and, so it's, and this we need whole bleaching we need thing is people. really becoming a, a, a serious issue it because is. i see a lot of young guys as well now mm. that are beginning to Middle bleach female. like young men like very young i'm men talking bleaching. about age group uh, i'm talking yeah. about my age group and they are all all going buying skincare products and stuff like that toning cream toning soap toning wow calm down like man. we're not judging you but love your skin do Please. do love dark girls skin. like light skin guys are you guys looking at me like oh, yeah you are the dark one on the me, team. <laughs> i like chocolate you like chocolate i love chocolate I'm chocolate um, <laughs> if you're sure well, okay. ah, cool, but shout okay. out to v i mean <laughs> this this you have to Tugger. stand for something as far as i'm concerned and i like yeah. what she said that even if it's going to take her long to get to the top because when you begin to have this really nice moral standard mm. in a place like nigeria mm. um a lot of brands don't understand it and it, it's not me now saying the brand as the brand because i i when i talk about the brand i believe that there are people behind it who make decisions mm -hmm. and they are all still a product of the society so it still brings us back to society and what people hold a standard or what they would do to get the eyeballs to get the views yeah. or just to make sales so uh, having this kind of stance would definitely um slow down of course not take it all away but kind of slow down her income slow down mm. um maybe the rate of growth but she would get there and i love that she's I even losing willing. her biggest gig yeah uh, that's it this is the money so I, I like that she's ready to to walk the talk and um enjoy her life as she lives really how much do we really need to be happy at the end of the day so much respect for me. How much do you need to be happy? Me? She, you, I'm tell you. Yeah, how much you do you need? Mean? Yeah, just tell us. Someone, someone might want to help I'm me. Tell someone someone might, you, help your sponsor me, might be watching. So, so, so none of your view... Okay. <laughs>